Looking for the best email signature solution for your business? Here are seven reasons to choose Rocket Seed. One, brilliant branding. Custom designed to be on brand, Rocket Seed signatures look professional and make extra impact. Clickable links drive website and social engagement. Details update automatically via Active Directory. Personalized legal disclaimers ensure compliance. Two, maximum marketing. Interactive banners make every email a cost-effective marketing channel. Run campaigns, assign banners to specific senders, segment contacts, and target recipients for maximum conversion. Three, trusted tech. Rocket Seed integrates securely with your mail server on-premise, cloud-based, or hybrid, and is optimized for all major email platforms and devices, displaying perfectly every time. Four, standout service. Your Rocket Seed account manager sets up your signatures and provides campaign support at every stage. Five, complete control. Centralized control gives consistent email branding across your business, easily adapted for different departments. Six, actionable insights. Rocket Seed captures, analyzes, and reports every click so you can measure success, refine your campaign, and feed your CRM. Seven, real results. Businesses worldwide, large and small, achieve higher click through, conversion, and ROI with Rocket Seed. Contact us today to see for yourself. Rocket Seed, email signatures designed to do business. Fantastic. So, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us in our third episode of V5 Africa. My name is Armin Wieland. I'm the founder at V5 Digital, and I will be your host, not your host, but rather your host today. And um, talking about host, my colleague, Aina Ilunga, she will be our co-host. She's joining us from the harbor town of Wolfers Bay. Myself, I'm joining you guys from Windhoek. It's, it's quite cold here. I think it's about 10 or 11 degrees outside. And I heard that in the south of the country, we had about minus 10 um, degrees this morning. So it is, it is quite a cold day um, for us here in Namibia. For those of you that are joining um, from across the continent or from other parts of the world, um, a very, very warm welcome, nevertheless. And um, we have got with us on the show, our keynote speaker, Wade um, from Rocket Seed. So Wade will do an amazing um, show um, for us today regarding email signatures and email signature marketing. So that is essentially you know, my warm welcome for today. And um, we have about 55 minutes maximum. We're probably gonna end a little bit sooner, but yeah, so we'll definitely be, be out before one o'clock. And again, if you're joining us from elsewhere, Please let us know in the chat where you're from. Also, if you're joining us from Namibia, even if you're from Winter, that's also fine. Please do let us know where you're from. And the last webinar, we had a nice global audience from you know, people joining us from Spain and from, from Turkey, for instance. And we really hope to have it this time as well. So without further ado, I'm just gonna do a quick welcome for you. Um, who's V5 Digital? So we are a full service digital marketing agency centered around digital transformation and around digital strategy. So you'll see um, all our services that displayed on the screen. I'm not gonna go into detail. It's not supposed to be a sales talk today, but rather an enlightening um, webinar regarding email signature marketing. Just in terms of our technology partners, so we are proud partners of Rocket Seed and um, well, today's webinar will be actually all about Rocket Seed. Excuse me. Um, and furthermore, we have Salesforce as a proud partner. Um, Salesforce is the world's number one CRM, and also Sharp Spring, which, which is a marketing automation and revenue growth platform. So we are we thrilled to have those partners on board. And going forward, and um, we will probably also allow you know, speakers from one of those other tech partners to, to come on board and um, do a great webinar for us and with us. So without further ado, I would like to hand over to my colleague, Ms. Aina Ilunga from the harbor town of Wolfers Bay. So over to you, Aina, take it away. Hello, everybody. I did uh, <laughs> greet you guys all again. But we can always greet again. Um, my name is Aina Ilunga, Customer Success Officer at B5 Digital. I just want to give a, a little bit of housekeeping rules. 
Um, please ask your questions in the Q&A uh, feature that Zoom offers. If not, I will catch it in the chat box and then I'll direct it to um, Wade or Armin or I'll answer it myself. Please note that this video will be recorded and you will receive it with an email by the end of this week. Um, during this webinar, would love it if you use the hashtag V5Africa on all social media platforms, take a picture, snap it, and you could be a winner of this V5 Digital in Digital We Trust um, um, uh, diary. Lastly, let me introduce our keynote speaker, which is Wade. Uh, Wade has been pioneering email marketing for more or over the, uh, 17 years. And in this meeting, he's going to talk about uh, Rocket Seed, which is also a partner with Be Back Digital. And also, hopefully, we get a little picture of his puppy because I love his dog. So I'll give it over to Wade. I know. I, I think the, the energy in the team there is incredible. I thought I had a, a boundless amount of energy, but I think Ina takes the cake. So <laughs> welcome to everyone on, on the talk. Thanks to V5 Digital for arranging the session. We have lots to share, lots of visual, graphic, marketing content. So plus there's a technology slant to it. So the IT buffs are going to enjoy it as well. So what I typically like to do is, is share screen and jump into it. So if you hang on a moment, I'm going to start to put some of the, the critical things online. So let me know if you see the V5 Africa webinar series logo on board. Do I have a thumbs up? Okay, brilliant. What I'm going to do actually is start with quite a uh, dramatic scene and a dramatic statement. What we are noticing is that the world of marketing is very, very different. You know, people that are on this call trying to drive brand we can't do what we used to do in the past and just bomb out communication and hope that people trust us and buy from us and, and work with us. What we're typically seeing and the message we're bringing to our clients is there's been a very big shift for marketers to actually measure what's going on. Are people actually engaging with our brand, our campaign, our promo, our message, our event? So the big thing that marketing teams are needing nowadays is actually measurement of engagement. More than anything else, they have to prove to business what their efforts are generating. So there's a big, strong message to measure engagement and, and what is happening. So what Rocket Seed has realized and what clients can take advantage of is that your biggest form of communication that happens every single day is email. Almost 90% of every business communication on a daily basis is sent via email, more than any other channel. So it's a vital tool to use as a smart marketing platform. Staff send a lot of email, right? I think the average person uh, amongst us is sending, you know, 40 emails a day. And if you do that 22 days a month and you count 12 months a year, one staff member in your business sends over 10 and a half thousand emails every single year. So we, so the message to our clients and, and what you should realize is there's a massive opportunity to turn this tool into something special. And the critical part of your emails is that it's going to the very audiences that you want to engage with. It's going externally to your customers who you want to keep and refer your business to other clients. It goes to all the prospects you want to win and investors and suppliers, but also internally. Your staff are receiving communication. So how do we now take advantage of that? So let's get to the crux of today's, today's webinar. What companies should do is turn every single email that every staff member sends every single day into a branded marketing campaign tool for the business. So we start with consistent signatures, which is nice. It's contact information, it's standardized, it's consistent and professional. It's not the most sexiest thing. So what companies then take advantage of is driving multiple campaigns and messages inside every email that is being sent anyway. Let's use it as a smart tool. If you think about it this way, you brand your website, you brand your building, you brand your social media, you brand your documents, you brand almost everything that you can get your hands on, but your email system is, is often a, a tool that is not optimized by, by clients. So that's the big message today is to, to really make use of your business tools as a smart marketing campaign. And the beauty about the delivery of the Rocket Seed service through our partners like V5 Digital who are on ground and support clients is that everything is clickable, trackable, measurable, 
So when people do engage, you're actually getting reports on how this is performing for the business. So what it ends up becoming is a trans a transfer of communication into more of an interactive space, but again, towards this very important engagement model that marketers are now needing and brands are needing to grow. So that's the concept. We're helping companies turn their biggest form of communication branded marketing campaign. But now if we look at the next step, how do we now help clients optimize this? So when, when a client sends emails externally, and in fact, let me, let me show you some client examples um, that's happening right now in Namibia. I think you'll recognize some brands that would bring up on screen, particular messaging, very you're seeing on, on screen. And even if it's promotional um, and messages around competitions or product launches. So the ability to change your messaging and target campaigns is available. I'm getting a, a note that the internet connection is unstable. So if, if I'm dropping off then just give me a thumbs down or if I'm back online, I see some head nodding, no problem. Okay, so some other brands that, that V5 has launched. I'm sure you've, you've come across Transworld Cargo and they talk about their years of service and how experienced they are in the industry. So it doesn't have to be a sales message. What you should use your email channel to do is build brand, build trust with customers, and even announce certain things like our team has changed and meet, put faces to names, make it personable. Because the world of marketing is becoming what we call singular you are servicing a customer, not a broad set. So how do we now get very particular and targeted with our messaging? Um, if you've seen Hit Exchange out there, very strong call to action. What your, a big, big tip of advice when you run your campaigns and banners, the number one thing above anything else, if you don't tell people to click or read more or download or get a quote, then they're not going to engage with your marketing. They don't know to engage. So the big thing for your, for your own branding when you activate dynamic email signature marketing is to put the, the strong call to action. And luckily, partners like V5 Digital are aware of that stuff and they, they help our clients around strategy and campaigns and call to actions. So just a, a big note about making it interactive. And you can have campaigns at the top, you can have campaigns at the bottom, CES with their latest technology and what they're offering. So every design is different for clients. You launch different messaging. If you ever in the need uh, for some optometrist advice, then you'll see your local providers um, through the IK group. Um, you'll see all the different messaging and the products they represent. So these are some of the Namibian brands that have activated and, and gone live. But now some advice to, to our clients and how, okay, so we make look, emails look pretty, great. And we, and we put branding on emails, but now how do we take it to another level? When you send emails externally outside your business, it is sexy campaign, brand, messaging, whatever you need. Or if it's important to the business to get feedback from clients, then think about one-click surveys built into your marketing and each button is trackable. So you'll know which customers are super happy or upset or need attention. And then you're able to, to reach out to those, those people on, on, a, on a live basis because you get alerts. And I'll explain that as we go forward. So whether it's marketing or customer service or launch of product or something specific for a milestone or date throughout the year, all your campaigns can be automated. And even if it's special messaging like CSI initiatives and PR, and we're giving back to charities and schools around us, all the good stories and work you're doing. What your external emails become is this ongoing marketing sales and customer service tool with all the reporting and you can, and you can see who's engaging. But now when you think about your internal emails, you've got the ability to make those different. When staff email each other within the business, those messages can be more about campaigns for management, company news, staff announcements, word from the CEO, motivation, sell hard this month team and we all go to Mauritius for a holiday, whatever the campaign is and you know, you're trying to drive your staff and, and et cetera. 
or, or what if someone new joins the business and they thank the IT team for the laptop and the very first email they get, welcome to our company, know more about us and our company policies and brand guidelines and information about what we do and the emergency escape plan from this building if there's a fire, whatever the message is. So you can help onboard staff just by the emails that they're going to be sent anyway. So again, it's a smart use of your business email platform to trigger both external messaging to drive customers and sales and, and service, but also internally to drive employee engagement, internal comms and HR messaging. So that's the very distinct um, difference between your internal and in external audience. But it ultimately becomes, and I know we've got different audiences on the call, on the call today. I've, I've seen some marketers, you're gonna love the campaigns. I've seen some IT. Uh, I believe Valdemar had a question about um, some of the, the services the Rocket Seed has, and I've done some LinkedIn checking, and I think he's a technical ninja, which is good to get some questions, but IT loves the signature control. No more user error, people. Your staff members can't break it, they can't stretch it, delete it, move it, swap it, nothing. You need central control, otherwise staff will call themselves whatever they want and put in pixelated logos and you've lost your brand control. So nothing is installed on laptops, nothing is installed on phones, and you've got the ability to lock down your brand and look and feel. HR really takes advantage, advantage of the internal campaigns and driving the messaging to the human beings inside the business. And obviously, customer service love the immediate feedback or net promoter score, whatever it is. So it's a multi-department use case. It's not just a marketing platform. And you end up each department using the service um, as we go forward. What I then wanted to just cover with everyone in case anyone's wondering, how does this work? How does this fit into, into our, our world or our business? Essentially, when a staff member sends an email, as I mentioned before, it is blank. There's nothing in there for them to stretch and delete and mess with. So it's not controlled on PC or device. It's all different. It's separated from that. It flows through your email server. And I'll talk about Office 365 and Google and Exchange and et cetera. But now as advice to our clients um, and, and what V5 Digital will help you optimize is making sure that your different audiences automatically get different campaigns. So you could help set up rules. When an email goes to a top customer of yours, boy, oh boy, they must get the platinum banner. We love you, cash cow, golden star. But if it goes to a different customer, number two, then maybe they must get a different message. Or if it goes internally to our staff, then we welcome a new joiner. And if it goes to a partner of ours, then we ask them how we're servicing them. And if you really want to get sneaky and you send an email to a competitor of yours, maybe you want to set up the banner that says, we're the best, five jobs available, the grass is greener on our side. So basically, you've got the ability to ensure that the right campaign from one place, you can ensure the right campaign goes to the right audience at the right time. And it's very simple to do. What, what, and we have partners throughout Africa and the world. And what V5 Digital is focused on is helping our clients optimize that. And what they'll help you do is load rules. If an email, if anybody in my company sends an email to topclient.com, which is our best thing since sliced bread, they must get the platinum banner. So you can get help optimizing your campaigns automatically served to the different domains and receivers of emails. And that means your staff don't have to think. They just do what they do. They, even if they send from a phone, it automatically gets targeted to the end recipient. So I'm hoping that's making sense. And if there's any questions coming through, I'm, I'm sure Ina and team will, because this normally um, brings up a whole bunch of questions and how and why. But just to, just to, to recap some of the, the rule settings. So what your business is able to do when you activate your email branding is you can, you can brand per team. So different departments can have different messages. HR advertises vacancies, sales pushes quotes, customer service asks for feedback. So one, you can have branding per team and that is relevant to who they are and what they do. We've spoken of the recipients and if it goes to different customers and top clients, et cetera. And ultimately what you should be smart at doing is matching your email branding to your marketing calendar. If you need 
pink and red banners for Valentine's week or drive safe this festive season or product launch in July and post winter pre summer campaign in September, whatever your message needs to be at certain points, you can automatically load them into the platform and it drives that messaging on the right days and the other ones will stop and the new ones will take over. So you've got automatic control of all your marketing via one central tool. I know it's a busy slide, um, but ultimately what we are helping you to achieve is again, hit the right message to the right audience on the right email at the right time and no staff members have to do anything, which is brilliant. You've got the central control. So that's this campaign engine. That's where marketing ideas get um, deployed. That's where you load everything. And I'll show you a diagram of, of how we connect that um, as we go forward. Super, super, super important, not only for, for new customers like yourselves looking to, to purchase Rocket C through, through V5 Digital and your, and your local partner on ground, is to actually measure what's going on. This is all about engagement. Is it actually engaging customers and getting them to see our campaign and do anything? Well, your email branding comes built with reporting. Number one, what our clients enjoy is click alerts. As soon as someone clicks on a campaign, you will know who they are, what they've clicked on, where they've gone to your site. And the moment it happened, you get an alert. Your team can reach out at the right time, close that gap, answer the question, solve the problem. So you have a better route to client when the time is right through these immediate notifications. Now, not every button has to have notifications and that's our advice to you. Your home button, say for example, you had multiple links um, underneath your banner. Your home button, is that important enough to send an alert? Maybe not. But if they click on RSVP or rate my service or down get a quote, then absolutely my team needs to be notified immediately. So click alerts are flexible and you can turn them on for different links that you need and it alerts different people inside your team. So that's the first part of the ROI um, sphere, as we call it, or the, or the return on investment uh, in terms of reporting is these click alerts. Number two, because you're probably working with V5 Digital and understanding how we're getting traffic to our site, all the UTM magic is built into Rocket Seed. So you will see Rocketsy become a source of traffic to your website. It's probably in the top three to top five sources of all our clients' website traffic. You can just imagine the millions of emails everybody sends all day, getting people to click and go to your online channels, et cetera. So number two, we plug into your, your analytics. Number three, what our customers do have access to via typically their account manager within uh, V5 Digital is access to a dashboard. You can view per campaign, clicks, click-through ratios. This banner is the best performing one. Let's do four more of them. This banner is not really performing well. Let's drop it. So as marketing advice from, from agencies with, with our men, Aina and V5 Digital team, is they'll probably tell you that these campaigns are working and these ones are not. And you've got the ability to A-B split test and see which ones are working and drop the bad ones and go with the good ones. So you get real insights. Some, some other cool, cool reporting, and especially for the management side, you get to see who's sending mail, right? So maybe Aina up here is pumping out emails. She's a busy girl working hard. But I mean down here, hmm, only one email all month. Is he even working? What's going on? He should be talking to Salesforce and Sharpspring and Rocket Seed. So we're not seeing any traffic. <laughs> So what this does, it, it's, it's, not a, uh, it's not a KPI tool, but it just allows you to understand how, one, your campaigns are performing, and two, how your staff are connecting with customers. And if there's a gap, you can see it and, and change. So you've got the ability to understand your, your team's performance as well. And for the geeks on the call, uh, if you want to get smart and integrate all the smart data into your own platforms or CRM like Salesforce, which we're on and we use and we integrate with, you can do that. So why do we do that? Because CRM is all about the knowledge of the customer. Customer is central. We have to understand what they're doing, what they're liking, et cetera. So when we pump this information into your CRM system, if you look up the history of a client, you will see that they have clicked 14 times on this particular product. So clearly that is what they're after. 
So what we're doing is we're adding more data and more insight and more customer knowledge into your, your CRM system. But think about the other side of the coin. If it's not a customer, if someone unknown clicks, say the receptionist sent out an email to a contact of them, of theirs, and someone clicked, that'll get logged into CRM, not under a known contact because they're not there, but as a new lead. So we're capturing every engagement and helping you store that information and knowledge about what's going on. And you can take action from there and reach out. So again, um, another busy slide, but ultimately the real crux of Rocket Seed is actually measuring what's going on. And you have insight into how your emails are performing, how your campaigns are performing, and which staff members are, are productive, basically. So I'm hoping the, the, the reporting slide helps everyone understand. I see a whole bunch of chat and questions. So I don't mind anyone stopping me and, and jumping in. So I think Aina is raising her hand and there might be something that's coming through. Okay, so we got two questions from Mark. Okay, let me start with the first one. The first one says, what is your view on automation and specifically chatbots and their ability to offer instant uh, interactions? Users want instant communication or moving away from websites and instant interactive responses. I think everything is being controlled by this, right? And people are living mm -hmm. on this when they're walking, they're not seeing the billboard, their, their faces are deep into their phones. So yes, instant gratification um, and instant knowledge is necessary and probably where the world is going. I think we're still finding that the preference for customers and their channel of choice from receiving information from brands and companies is still email. Mm -hmm. um, the stats are out there. There's, there's a site called email is not dead and you will see what's going on and how people are measuring that people actually prefer email because you can get to it when you want. If you scroll through a Twitter feed and 10 seconds later, you're on to the next thing that's lost and gone. So it's, it's only momentary. Whereas email, you can refer back to think about your shopping cart. When they mm -hmm. send you a notification that your payment has gone through, boy, oh boy, do you check that email to make sure that it is positive and it's, and it's tracked. So the instant, the instant messaging is, is great for knowledge now, but when it comes to actually transacting, I think customers are still preferring uh, methods like the email platform for confirmation, et cetera. So, so, so the chatbots are, are pretty cool. I use them. I, I go online and, and see tools. V5 Digital has an offering as well. So, so absolutely, chatbots and, and instant knowledge is, is critical nowadays. You had another question, I know? Yeah, he had another question for previous question. As we are also integrated with Salesforce, from a click-through on an email, is this a strong interaction option? Well, it's one of the best, right? So if, hmm. if you have a, a targeted campaign, and remember, you can have a banner per individual if you want. So your one MD of a client gets his face and we love you. Exactly. If a person engages with a banner and that click happens, you're going to get an alert you're going to know that that person just engaged. So when is the right time? So these, these engagements or these clicks, as we call them, are super critical. But you don't. And remember, that these alerts can let you know about the important ones, not the home button, not the, the contact us. That's just going to go to our number. But the, the important buttons that really need to have action on them, they're going to alert you immediately. So engagement on your email branding Depending on which of the important buttons it is, you can be alerted and then, and then jump onto that and, and solve that problem or help the client. So I'm hoping that answers some of that, from some of that question. Okay, um, there's uh, no more questions, so you can continue. Um, awesome. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so <laughs> Mark said, thank you. <laughs> we, we love it, Mark, more of those questions, because I, I think if anyone isn't asking those questions, at least it's gonna add value um, and maybe some people are shy but we will test them just now. Okay, so we've looked through this, this tool of turning every email into this marketing platform. You can customize it with different campaigns per client, per sender, per team, per date. We've looked at how the reporting now gives you insight, but how does this technically happen? Wait, we are a digital world. I don't know what my phone does and how does it work. So let me give you an insight into how it typically works. For most companies that are looking at cloud, some clients are still on Legacy Exchange or on Zimbra or Lotus Notes or Zoho. There's all different email platforms, but typically customers are, are moving towards a cloud-based email. You don't have to worry about it. That company provides all the hosting and, and et cetera. You just 
you just have an SLA with them and they provide the service. So how does this work with these platforms? When a human being sends an email, you're actually sending it via a third party service in the cloud, Office 365 or Google Workspace. What those platforms do is send the email to another third party service in the cloud called RocketSeed. That's where all the magic happens. Branding, signatures, links, tracking, you name it. And within one or two seconds, hardly any delay, we pass the email back to your platform of choice. So your own server remains the final deliverer of all email to the outside world and the inside world. All that is happening is that your emails are going to rocket seed and back. It's what's over, it's over what we call TLS encryption. No one can intercept or hack your emails. We don't store your email. We don't read your email. There's no copy of your content left on the platform. Basically, we're like a printing press. We get your email, make it look sexy, and pass it back to your server to carry on delivering. And that's why no one has to install anything or choose anything or break anything. It all happens centrally between your, your email server and Rocket Seed. So I suspect, and we normally get a whole bunch of technical questions, um, just so everyone is, is aware, when you type an email, it's blank. You click send, it hits Rocket Seed. We inject into that email the campaign together with your content, which we don't see or read. We pass it back and it gets delivered to someone now as a sexy looking email with your content and all your signature control and social media, et cetera. So the magic happens in Rocket Seed, real time, all the reporting. When someone clicks, that recording has happened in Rocket Seed, and we just redirect them through to your website. They don't know. They click and up pops the browser with your website, and they're looking at the content that they've just clicked on. That's the connection between the branding and your website. When you think about that signature, when someone receives your branding, the name, the surname, the title, the telephone, the address, that information Rocket Seed doesn't know. So where do we get it from? How do, we, how do we make sure that we have the right information per INA, per Armin, per Mark who needs to know this information? Well, we typically get it from your Active Directory or Google Directory, whichever one is applicable to your business, and that syncs with Rocket Seed. So all your different departments and structures and names and surnames and titles, we get pushed from AD into Rocket Seed. So it's a one-way push, very secure. And then we know what name and title to put into your email. So again, it doesn't require any thinking from staff. And the beauty about your, your signatures and your contact information, when people reply back to your staff and they see that their signature is in the email, but uh-oh, my surname's wrong. I got married this last weekend. I need it updated. What that's doing is that your daily emails are almost like a prompt to continue people checking and keeping it updated. Updated and that goes back into your AD, which which syncs with Rocket Seed. So it just it's a visual prompt every day to help staff be aware of information. So I don't know how many IT people are on the call, but maybe we're going too in depth. I can tell you all about SPF and DCIM and um, the, the intricate details of Rocket Seed. But I guess as a as a general flow, that's what happens. Your email gets stamped and gets delivered as per normal. So I'm hoping that the, the tech flow makes sense to everyone on the call. Another super, super, very, very important aspect of your branding is to make sure it looks good on this little screen. Most people are reading emails on mobile phones and all different sizes of screens. So what Rocket Seed helps you ensure via RFC compliant HTML is that your branding renders correctly across all devices. And, I'm, and I see Aina waving hands. Is there a question that we should jump back onto the tech? Sorry, I needed to un uh, uh, unmute myself because I'm loving Mark. Mark is giving us some good questions. Sorry, so I, I, I didn't hear anything coming through. Oh, I said some very good uh, questions. So it's Mark again, not like in a bad way, Mark. I'm just saying it's Mark. Um, his security question is, um, with uh, POPI now in place, what impact does this have on data storage and usage from Rocket Seed side, similar to GDPR? Okay, good question. So POPI and GDPR is all about the protection of information you have mm -hmm. about customers. So what lives on Rocket Seed? That's the first question. What lives on Rocket Seed is, is almost 
non-sensitive data. It's the from address, the to address, the subject line, and the date of the email. That's called the headers of the email. And the mm -hmm. reason why we look at the headers of the email and not the content is because when we know it's coming from Mark and he's an executive, he must have the, the special platinum banner. Is it going to a top client? Well, they need the We Love You campaign. Does it have a keyword in the subject line that we recognize and strip out and put in the birthday banner? Yes, it does. It has the birthday keyword. So then we know to put the birthday banner in. Or is it on the 1st of August and it needs our new brand launch? Yes, it's the 1st of August and we put in the right banner. So what Rocket Seed does gather is this information, the header information. But on top of that, if we have super strict anal security people who want their data to be never shared and stuff, what Rocket C can do is help our clients depersonalize that information. And it's, it's called MD5 hash. Basically the email address is gobbledygook. So you don't know any information. The subject line becomes asterisks. So we don't know what was said there. And the IP address is 0.0.0.0. .0 so we have no idea. So the information actually becomes indiscernible and there's no relevant data living on Rocket Seed. So we can help clients depersonalize the data. What it does mean, however, is if you depersonalize that data, when you look at your clicks, you won't know who that is. It's very strict. So if you, if you want to not have any data living on Rocket Seed, then it ain't going to show you who clicked. If you do want to see those clicks, then we don't depersonalize the data. So, that's, so clients have options. A lot of our big corporates go either way, um, but you've got the choice to, to depersonalize that data, even though it's really non-sensitive stuff. It's not gender or political views or you know, children-based data. It's just literally subject line and, and from address and to address. So I hope that that helps Mark answer Mark's question around the, the data side. Perfect. So we're talking about the very important display on, on, on mobile screens. And again, that's taken care of. But if I have to share the kinds of volumes and opportunities each of the, the, the callers on, on the webinar have today, the average is a, for one person is about 40 emails a day. And if you count that 22 days a month, no weekends and 12 months a year, one person sends 10 and a half thousand emails a year. So if you are a certain size company, you can probably see on the screen where you fit in or just times this one by the number of staff you have. And that is the volume of email that your company is generating. And that's the average. Some send more, some send less, but that's the, the average that Radicati group uh, overseas has looked into. So I guess for everyone on the call, let's look at a summary. What we're helping you do is take control of your brand on your biggest form of communication, consistent, interactive. No one can mess with it. Like you brand everything else in website and social, you can brand your email. Number two, run as many marketing campaigns as you wish. Internally, externally, you can go with whatever flavor suits you and the design is up to you. And I'll bring up some live client examples. Number three, everything is controlled century. No one has to do anything. There's no ID, 10T errors. No one can break stuff. And you get all the reporting and metrics about how it's actually working for your business. It's not a hope and pray system. You don't turn this on and think that it works. It actually produces stats and results about how it's really working for your business, driving traffic, generating leads, plugging into CRM. We've launched with a whole bunch of big brands globally, you know, banks and nonprofits and telecoms and sports teams and universities, energy and lovely tasting brands in, in, in Namibia, IT, uh, finance, construction, industrial brands. So it's all over. Basically, through V5 Digital, you have a global team in the background. So I'm based in Johannesburg. I look after EMEA, all of Europe, Middle East, and Africa. We've got our UK head office, Australia presence, and our US teams. So we look after our clients in different time zones. And thankfully, most of the people on the call are within the time zone um, of where um, we are running our EMEA head office from. So that's a quick little view into, into the team that is Rocket Seed behind our partners like Bpop Digital. Um, and again, you buy local, you get, you get local um, contract, you, you do everything locally with V5 Digital. Rocket Seed is in the background, as I've mentioned, and providing all the support. So, you know, we, we like to say that we love by marketing because it produces all this really cool stuff. 
and we're trusted by IT in terms of how it's deployed and the data and, and personalization, et cetera, um, and work across all, all channels. So that is literally a fly through and, and demo of what clients and companies could or should be doing with, with their email branding. What I'm going to do is, is see if there's any questions or queries or comments, and I can start to show other client examples if need be, but I'll take some, some direction from the team. What are we on to next? You, you're on mute there, Ina, if you can pop up. <laughs> I have a question um, myself. I would like to know, like, um, is there a limit? Is there a limit as to how many um, campaigns or how many banners are going out to different type of people? For example, let's say I want my competitors to have these, but different banners for different competitors and so forth. So what's the limit of how many different uh, banners one company can have, or is it limitless? Zero limit. You can have as many as you want. You can run 4 million banners a day, target multiple different email addresses and domains. So there, there's no limit. Plus, you're not stuck with one message. So if we go back to, let's say, for example, Transworld Cargo, mm -hmm. if I get an email from this person who I've hidden because of Poppy and we don't want to share data, if I get an email from this person now, but five minutes later, I get another email, it could swap between multiple campaigns. So you're not stuck with one message. You can rotate as many campaigns as you want. So you get maximum exposure of all your messaging. So unlimited campaigns. And you can have banners at the bottom. You can have banners at the top. But what if someone doesn't see your bottom banner and doesn't scroll down and doesn't see your, your, your campaign? So a lot of our clients prefer the top banners. They generally get bit higher click-throughs. It's a very graphically rich very interactive um, platform and, and, and your banners need to be with a strong call to action, engaging people to, to go to the content online. So I, like I said, I can probably show examples to the cows come home, even postal companies and government departments are loving Rocket Seed, uh, power corporations, app downloads, huge. For anyone here seeking guidance from V5 Digital and building apps and, and rolling out marketing stuff, you, all that work that you're doing can be advertised every single day and click through to your store and, and et cetera. So lots of COVID-19 messaging and I can go all day, but uh, <laughs> I hope that gives everyone an idea of their own style, their own brand that you can have on your email. Perfect. Thanks, Wade. <laughs> cool. Uh, Wade, a quick one from Valdemar, who's also on the call. So Valdemar, is, I believe, is from, from African Marketing. So his question was, and I'm not sure if you've um, answered that already, but was, can Wade explain how to create a rotating banner for all mailboxes? So you might have covered that already, but maybe you just want to zoom into onto that question and sure. answer, please. Valdemar Absolutely. from African Marketing. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So if we go back to the screen that talks about the customization of banners, if you want rotational banners on the whole team, I'm just going to bring up my little drawing um, device here. If you want rotational banners for the whole team, when you load into Rocket Seed, you can load at the mother account and put all three banners there. And that'll, that'll rotate multiple banners for everybody. But if you want to have different banners for the sales team, you have sub accounts called sales and service and marketing. And next to that one sub account, you can load different banners and they will have different rotating banners. So you can apply multiple rotational banners for the whole company, for one person, for teams or departments. It's really, really flexible. Thank you. I'm saying um, thank you on behalf of Valdemar because he can't he can't talk. He can type, um, and, and here here here's thank yous coming through. So thank you for that, Wade. Um, I see there's no further questions. So if you have any questions, we will allow maybe half a minute or so, and then we would you know starting to wrap up the webinar from from our side. The beef, you are currently watching V5 Africa webinar three. The next one, by the way, is on 18th of August, but um, 
So I'm just kind of making up some time currently for you guys to, you know, to type, pop your um, questions into the Q&A and also for, for Wade just to show us one or two more things. Um, but if there are mo no more questions, we will slowly start wrapping up the webinar from our side. And um, just a reminder for those that haven't tweeted as yet, um, you don't have to use Twitter. If you're not big on Twitter, you can also use, for instance, Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, whatever you do, just make sure you're using the hashtag, um, hashtag V5 Africa to win that um, in digital, we trust mold scheme diary. It really looks amazing. So if I were you, I would definitely um, go, go ahead and, and, and tweet or post it on LinkedIn or elsewhere. So if you haven't done that, please do please do go ahead and, and do that. Um, my colleague Zoe has also been popping in a link through the chat. Um, you will see that it's a bitly link. And um, so if you could just rate the webinar, it will also come up as soon as the webinar ends and also on the, the, the email, which we'll be sending you by Friday. So please do us a favor and rate this webinar because um, we believe we, we are doing great, but we want to do much better. So, um, you know, rate us, rate Wade, um, rate myself. And also if you would like to collaborate with us going forward, either as a partner, as a keynote speaker, um, if you know someone who would like to collaborate, please do put them in touch with us because we would really like to grow um, B5 Africa. As maybe mentioned in the beginning, so V5 Africa is currently happening every middle of the month, middle of the week, middle of the day. So that means that we are doing that on, on Wednesday, middle of the month at 12 noon. So it's really easy to remember. That is obviously if you are in our time zone, if you are in another time zone, then um, you just need to co-adjust accordingly. Perfect. We just got a comment from um, Bella, and she said she just wanted to say that uh, this um, webinar was very interesting. So thank you for also attending, Bella. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So perfect. Best. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. All right. So we will just be wrapping up quickly. So those that have stayed on the line, um, we've got a little bit of a surprise for you. A good one. So um, if you sign up with us and pay your deposit before the end of July, we will give you 10% discount on the license fee. So, so I believe Wade has explained that. So the costing is made up of two portions. One is the setup fee and the other one is a license fee, which is um, per user. We are working on different user bands. So if you are uh, only a few users, it's, it's very affordable. And the more user you have, it actually gets cheaper per user. So if, you've got, if you're a big company, um, you, know, you will see that you actually, you know, the, the, the rate per user actually drops significantly. And, but at the same time, if you're a small company like, like us at V5 Digital, we are still fairly small, but we believe it's a very, very affordable solution, which gives us great results. So maybe just something to mention, we use it internally a lot with our banners. Um, you've probably seen them, those that have had any email um, contact with us. So we change them all, all the time, up and down. So, and I think that's what, why we are, we are called data-driven digital marketers. We definitely look at those banners, at the stats, um, how they're coming through, how does the analytics look like, looks, looks like, which of them are working, which of them are, are not working, and then we will um, course correct from there. So just to kind of talk about the special offer one more time, 10% discount on the license fee if you sign up before 31 July. And remember that 10% will then carry you through for the next 12 months, and then 50% discount so half price essentially on the setup fee if you sign up and pay before 31 july so if you're interested in that please do reach out to us you have our details and um we you know we, we we can definitely help you with that with that i would just like to announce our next webinar as explained it's always uh, middle of the month so the next one being then essentially on the 18th of august we are currently in touch with five um, potential keynote speakers. Um, Tim is with SharpSpring based in Florida and USA. Matthias is with Messenger People based in Munich, in Germany. 
Lisa, I believe, is also Joburg based, and Tamara and well, Richard is Cape Town based. That that's um, that I know, and I think Tamara is either from East London. I think she also wanted to be on the call. So Tamara, if you're on the call, please let us know where you're from exactly. But she's also from South Africa. But as explained, um, so we have reached out to all five of them and we're waiting feedback. So one of them should be our next keynote speaker. But if you would like to be our next keynote speaker, or maybe um, the one for our September session, October, November session, please do raise your hand, reach out to us, complete the form. Or if you know of someone, um, either yourself or you know someone in your network, Please do be always keen to have you know great topics and um, digital related topics, obviously, because we are a full service digital marketing agency. But any kind of digital tech topic which you would like to maybe talk about, you know, please do come forward, let us know. And um, you know, then we can essentially, yeah, you know, we would love to have you on board. Wait, Aina, I'm not sure if there are any more questions or comments, um, but just would like to highlight that please do re remember to register for the next webinar. Um, this webinar has been recorded. So, um, so as such, the, we, we will send you the recording by Friday. Um, Wade's contact details are on the slide here as well. So in case you would like to reach out to Wade directly, you're more than welcome to do so. And then just again, our contact details. So with that, we would like to, to stop the webinar. And um, so we will also stop the recording and stop the, the Facebook link. And if there's anyone who would like to hang around and just ask maybe questions or you, you were too shy to ask earlier on, then we are gonna still um, hang in there for another minute or two. But thank you so we're, much. It's a pretty friend, friendly bunch. So, so have you got any questions? Uh, Pop them up for us. Yes. Fantastic. We're all... Yeah. Fantastic. By the way, it is 12.55. So isn't it amazing timing? So yeah, so we're actually wrapping up exactly on the minute 12.55. So very proud of that. Well done, Wade and Ina. Thank you for being an amazing keynote speaker. Well done, V5 and Digital. Amazing co-host. So with that, I would like to, to, to end the webinar. And But if you would just like to stick around for another minute or so, ask your questions, um, we, are, we are here to, to help you with that.